Hill House. This is Sam, one of the owners. I'm Jean. We're going with Andrew from the Rockaway Taco, Brian, the chef at the restaurant, and Chris Perichini from Roberta's over to Hotel Del Mono in Williamsburg. It was part of my plan to eventually open up my own place once this space became available, just like owning a restaurant became like what I wanted to do. We're going over there because our friend Zeb is going to hook us up with some oysters and uh, some nice cupcakes. I went to the French Culinary Institute. I moved here in 97 to do that and then worked at Tribeca Grill like just to kind of get me through school because I was going to school at night. And then I started working at Balthazar and I became a sous chef there after about two years and then just kind of worked my way through everything in like Keith McNally land. And finally was at Freeman's and then here. Yeah, what do you guys want to drink? The Tres Hombres, do you still have that? Three Amigos. Oh, the yeah. Three Amigos. Yeah, it's a house. Yeah, you should get that. Should we start well, with it? A can of beer, Sangrita, and a tequila shot. It's a nice, it's a nice yeah. starter. Yeah. It's a very fancy cocktail. It's a very fancy cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> My intention was basically to bring some people that had either like been here at the restaurant with us, like because Andrew Field from Rockway Taco, um, Chris Parakini from Roberta's, had like both like initially helped me out of that time when things were bad before Brian got here. Yeah. I mean the restaurant was a fucking shit show from the beginning. Like we had one cook that had never cooked before, myself and my mom. Chris came over, we started drinking at 7.30. Got it done. And then basically like six months into it, I was like, I got it, I, ha I need some help. And I did, had a couple of interviews, one with, with Brian, and I knew like right when he walked in the room, I was like, that's it, he's, he's the one. I asked him to make something, made coleslaw. It was good. <laughs> wow. wow. So, he's gonna explain to us what we got here. This is the Kumu Moro okay. from California. Nice. And this is the Baron Cole from Washington State. And we have a postal left from New Brunswick. And this is the Nice, awesome. Vinegar Hill is like a five block by five block, you know, little area where there's there's no other restaurant, you know. You guys had balls to do that, you know what I mean? I mean, for, I thought about it, but I didn't have the balls to place <laughs> like, Hard really place there? to get to, hard yeah. place to yeah. leave. Yeah, be your logo. <laughs> hard to get yeah. to, but hard to leave. <laughs> Hotel California. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to Pies and Pies. Chicken. Let's get Yo, some chicken. You should get the big salad. I'll get the big chicken salad. What? Don't butt me with your dick. <laughs> Just uh, three fried chicken boxes, um, two extra biscuits, and all of your sides. One of all the sides. Done. Cheers to pies. Cheers yeah, to the pies. Pies. <laughs> pies and thighs. Cheers. Cheers. It's just trying to like keep up with the pace. It's like we're we're a restaurant we're a restaurant in Brooklyn, but you're doing Manhattan numbers. But I think in Manhattan, it's 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 the rent that kills you. Like right yeah, from the start, it's it's thing. it's the rent, and it's the yeah, size it's, of, it's the like size it's of the not, space. It's the size of the space, like and then not, it's all the people around it's you that not are going to cool. Come. It's like of course you can like get a space on Avenue A and like between first and second, but then you just have a space on Avenue A between first and second. We have a space that's like in a beautiful neighborhood. It's about creating like that. Your own world. Yeah. Your own world. And you can't do that in Manhattan. 
Not anymore. No. Not anymore. Exactly. No, we missed yeah. that boat, so we, we went out to Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, originally, the idea was that this was like a place made by hand from with a group of friends, kind of spinning off of like Woodstock, that kind of 1970s communal vibe. So that's where the oven came into play. Like we're like, okay, cool, let's make everything like in cast iron in the oven. I think first and foremost, everything here is always very satisfying. People are coming here to eat certain dishes they might have read about that are, are usually in the menu in one permutation or other. And then as far as people in the neighborhood, we try and run specials pretty frequently. So there's usually something new or something you might not have seen before unless you come here a couple of days a week. In that sense, it was just kind of like the food was just supposed to be homey and comforting. Like we have a couple of dishes of mine that stay on the menu, but Brian's always offset that in like more technical way, but still have that seeming just like comfort, delicious vibe to them. Produce We're hippies, man. <laughs> Yeah, but in the new Brian's the newer a sophisticated of, hippie. We're yeah, yeah, we're sophisticated hippies. I think we should take pie to go. Pie, right? pie, pie, pie to go. We yeah. yeah. want chocolate peanut butter, concord grape. Sounds great. And sweet potato. Right. We're nice. gonna we're gonna eat that in the car. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go make some pies, pizza. Oh my god, I'm scared. I hope I do good. <laughs> Everyone's in the pizza cook-off. We have 40 pies we're making. There now. <laughs> I'm making the opio de bouillie. <laughs> What's that? Eye What's that? of the bull. Opio Ham. Um, opio? I think it's opio. My That's pizza's, a big my pizza's gonna be amazing. <laughs> it's a bunch of things that I don't know what they are. <laughs> Where are we? What is this? What is this place? What is this place? We're at Vinegar Hill House. Let's go. All right, let's go. Uh, we just invited everybody. We told the whole staff to come back and, um, and bring, their friends. bring their friends. We just kind of wanted it to just be like a bunch of friends coming back, like as if it like turned into a house party. I gotta change it. Yeah. Change? Well, yeah, I'm not gonna wear this. We just like wanted to do something different because we were like, well, let's do something that we don't normally make at the restaurant because Ryan works here a ton and like who wants to come back here? Not that it's not delicious and he eat like a huge pork chop or like chicken or whatever. And so we knew that those guys were coming and they'd both had experience in the oven. And so we're like, let's just like bring that to the table and like see. I thought that it like turned out really community kind of based. Everyone was like doing everything and I thought it was really fun. Serving with a steak knife. Ooh, we need some crushed red. Hey, go deliver this pizza to that guy right there. Chris Field, pizza number one. I don't know, maybe we should get Chris. Oh, Chris yeah. knows he has to come in here. I mean, yeah, yeah, let's go. Chris, Chris. Let's go. egg on it, my favorite. Yes. Yum. Is that, that for you? Is I volunteer to try that one. <laughs> Cauliflower and onions and parsley. Toots. I don't need toots. What? You don't need pizza. You're not an American. I'm not an American. I'm an immigrant. It's in the line of my I'm not an immigrant. Cauliflower and onions. Cauliflower and onions. <laughs> Yes. Yes. See that? Doesn't stand a chance. So we're back here with uh, Justin and Sammy, uh, two of the other partners here, and uh, Gene just made some pizza. And we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a pie. I'm just gonna cut the whole thing up. And I already know I love cheering for Gene's pizza. This is Gene's. Awesome. Bad ninja technique. Oh yeah, that's good. I think it was a shit show once we got back here. Um, yeah. But a pretty fun one, right? Yeah, it was nice. The shots were good too. Shots? Yeah, I did a couple shots. Oh. <laughs> anyway, 
point of the whole thing, right? Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Good peace, guys. Ride the wave. Ride the wave.